So what are my thoughts on Lupe Fiasco's debut album, Food and Liquor? Gents, it's Cyberline coming back to you with another album review, and this time I'm moving on to another uh, hip hop artist I thoroughly enjoy for the most part. Lupe Fiasco's Food and Liquor. So backtrack a little bit with this one so the first time I heard Lupe Fiasco was on Kanye West's late registration uh, touch the sky it's the first time I heard him and when it came to Lupe I didn't really get into him until I think I heard my friend Mike shout out to Mike um, he had played me a couple tracks and I think Kick Push was one of the reasons why it got my attention because I do I don't skateboard but I always have been fascinated by the, the culture of it. And I liked that and then I heard Daydreaming with uh, Jill Scott. And even though I don't listen to Jill Scott, she's a great artist too, but just kinda got my attention. And then pretty much acquired the album at the time and listened to it and I was very impressed. Very impressed. Went and picked it up, and just from front to back went through it, and it was refreshing, because at the time of this release, like I said, I think I said in the Outcast, um, either Tribe or Outcast reviews, is that the, the hip-hop at the time just wasn't, couldn't relate, not saying I can totally relate to skateboarding either, but the music just wasn't... just wasn't grabbing me. I just couldn't relate to the topics that they were talking about. I needed something more. And Lupe's album had that for me. It had something of the suburban life, but then the urban life, as well as the choices you make um, in regards to going down the righteous path or the wrong, the, the wicked path. So those were things on this album that I greatly enjoyed. My rating for the album is a 5 out of 5 yes sirs. Over time, people have said this is Lupe's best album. Hmm, I don't know. I like a lot of the albums, so I'm not going to say yet um, if it's his best album, for, in my opinion, for ranking them. But I will say it's one of his great albums in his catalog. I will, I will say that. As far as the songs that I didn't like... For a while, I didn't like um, The Pressure with Jay-Z. I don't think it was because I didn't care for Jay-Z. I think it was the music was just kind of like, eh. It wasn't terrible, but it just wasn't that great to me. But it, over time, it grew on me, and, and I was able to enjoy it a lot more now. have a lot more respect for it. The one song, it's not my favorite song, but the one song on the album that was kind of like a mystery gem to me, like I had gone through the album, but it never got my attention like I like like the other tracks is um, the Emperor soundtrack, and I don't know what it was, but even though it's not my favorite track, for some reason when I listen to that track. The music and the way Lupe does the verses, it just gives me just a certain vibe about the world and about how you find your place in it, how you manage to be your own woman or be your own man, how you try to navigate through life and making choices. I, I don't know, maybe for other people, it, it's just something about that track just really hits me at the core. 
So. My top five tracks are, uh, it was originally Kick Push. However, as I've gotten older, I would say Kick Push 2 is, uh, no, no, no. The Cool was always my, my favorite track. But now as I've gotten older, uh, I kind of got bumped to number two. So Kick Push 2, then The Cool, uh, then The Emperor Soundtrack, Daydreaming, because I love how Jill Scott well, two things. Not only the verses, but the music. The music is wonderful. And I love how Jill Scott just kind of sings. Her singing is intertwined with the rest of the album. Or the rest of the song. I really think that's great. And then, of course, Kick Push. Now, there are some honorable songs on here. I Gotcha, uh, Sunshine. It's just... There were so many gems on this album that was hard to pick. Even American Terrace. There was so many, um, and the, um, what's the other one? The I think it's the instrumental with Mike Shinoda did that track. But it was just kind of like, I got to narrow it down. Because I really wanted to say a lot more. Because there were so many tracks that I was just like, oh, this is good, this is good. I was just like, well, I got to pick five. And if I had to be stuck where I could only have five tracks, which ones would they be? And it's kind of like that. So... If you never checked out Lupe, check out the album. It's a great hip-hop album. I don't think you'll be disappointed. But that's if you're looking for something that's not necessarily radio. Somewhat radio, but not necessarily radio. And you want something that's going to uh, spiritually, I, I would say, feed you. Then, then there's the album. So, yeah. So with that being said, let's cue the music. I'm a go, and they had made like ten dollars off the sign he wrote. It read, a little hungry and need a little money. It's for my little sister and a little tummy. Wasn't lying, no, we didn't go buy hydro. Went to the restaurant and bought two gyros. Cause he knew they weren't cooking way here. The coca coca coops now took him to the crib. A little hurt from the rail, he took him to the ribs. Right past the pushers who couldn't under dig. What's the use of pushing? You ain't pushing none of this. If I kick it with y'all, I'm just pushing for a beer. But what was on his mind and push him to the lid? They best customer wasn't cooking for a kid. Yes, sir, pump, so we kick, push. Over his shoulders, he swore he never loved me. Cause one none back there but the blackness. Life wasn't too attractive. Yeah, uh, and so we kick, push. Over his shoulders, he swore he never loved me. Cause one none back there but the blackness. Life wasn't too attractive.